Hi, Delilah Taylor here again with Chattanooga Travel Tips. And hey, are you coming to Chattanooga soon? Well, if you are, you need to eat like a local, right? You know the old saying, when in Rome, do as the Romans do? Well, when in Chattanooga, you have to do like the Chattanoogans do. So in today's episode, I'm gonna tell you about eight savory Southern favorites that are eaten by people here in Chattanooga or in the Southeast in general. And I'll even tell you some places where you can find them. In fact, some of them you may be able to find in your local grocery store now. So you can go, go ahead and get those under your belt. Now, while you're traveling to Chattanooga, uh, just so you know, if you're looking for a tour, make sure to go to yourtourtime.com and check out the tours that we have available. Are you ready to get going with eating like a local? Fantastic. Hey, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button too so you'll get more tips and see all the videos that we have so you'll know everything that you need to know about Chattanooga before you get here. All right, so first on the foodie face, Favorites. And this is one that you've heard of. In fact, it is known across the world. It's Coca-Cola. Yes, Chattanooga was the birthplace of the first franchise Coca-Cola bottling plant. 1899, a couple of local lawyers here went to Coca-Cola and asked for the bottling rights. And the people at Coca-Cola thought they were insane because at this point, Coca-Cola was still served by the soda jerks. You know, the little guy that stood behind the counter and pulled this one for the syrup and this one for the soda water and Whatnot. The people at Coca-Cola thought these two attorneys were crazy. They're like, yeah, we'll let you bottle it, but you're gonna go broke. These two attorneys bought the bottling rights for one dollar. And as you know, it became a worldwide sensation. In fact, we still have a bottling plant here in Chattanooga to this day. So if you haven't ever tried one or you just got thirsty because I mentioned it, go out and grab yourself a Coca-Cola. That is a Chattanooga favorite. Now, Next up, you may have heard of this one, you may not have, Moon Pie. Moon Pie is like two little sandwich cakes with marshmallow in the center and then they're dipped and they come in different flavors. There's vanilla and chocolate are the most common. Chocolate is the very most common, but they also come in other flavors. Banana is my favorite, but Moon Pie was also started here in Chattanooga. In fact, while you're here, make your way down Broad Street, visit the Moon Pie General Store. Of course, you can pick up a Moon Pie, but you can also get some great souvenirs. It's just a funky little little shop. It's really great and it sits right down on Broad Street. You will absolutely love it. Take some great pictures there because it's so much fun. All right, now next on the list, this is not a food. It's a drink. Muscadine wine. Now, many people in Tennessee and Georgia and Alabama, we're all familiar with this. In fact, our families have made homemade wine out of muscadine grapes for centuries. So, you, if you got a friend that lives here, they might be able to get you some of the real homemade stuff. But if not, all you got to do is go right across the Georgia Georgia state line. Chattanooga sits on the Georgia state line. I mean, I could just about spit into Georgia right now. Go right across the Georgia state line on I-75 and go to the Georgia winery. And you can try all the different wines that they have. And they have different grapes, but the most important one is the Muscadine, because that's a grape that grows here in the Southeast. And I'll go ahead and warn you, it is very sweet. And it comes in white and red. It may be one of the only sweet reds you ever see or ever get to taste, but it's absolutely delicious. The only thing that I can even come close to comparing it to is ice wine in Canada. So if you've ever been to Canada and you really, the super sweet ice wine, if you like that, you'll love muscadine. It's very strong grapey flavor, but it is different than anything else you'll ever try. All right, now the next one that we have is crystals. No, I don't mean the clear hardened rocks. I mean crystal hamburgers. Now for northerners, some of you know what a white castle is. Okay, a crystal is, is close to the same thing. It's a very small, square dinner roll that's been sliced in half and has a small square meat patty on it and they'll sprinkle a little bit of diced onion on there and a pickle and a little swirl of mustard and it comes in a little box. Crystal was started right here in Chattanooga. Chattanooga people eat them all the time. In fact, the very first Crystal restaurant opened its doors in 1932 on Cherry Street in downtown Chattanooga. From there on, it franchised out and became a phenomenon throughout the nation. So make sure to grab yourself a Crystal Hamburger. They are everywhere in Chattanooga. And of course, they all have drive throughs The original is not open anymore. That one was a corner diner. Didn't have a drive through That one closed down a number of years ago, but there you still find crystals all over the place. And if you're going to be here, you got to have a crystal. Excuse me. I think that's actually their tagline. <laughs> all right. Now on to the next thing. And this one you can actually find in your local grocery store. Little Debbie Snack Cakes. Yes, Little Debbie is 
is owned by McKee Foods, which started in a small town just outside Chattanooga. It's called College Dale. I mean, seriously, it's this tiny. And College Dale butts up right against Chattanooga. Many of our um, citizens here work at the McKee Foods factory to this day because it's still open. It still runs to this day. And we all grew up eating Little Debbie snack cakes. You know, she's America's sweetheart. In fact, Mr. McKee, when he started the business, he literally named it after his daughter, Little Debbie. Go grab you a Swiss roll, a oatmeal cream cake, a Nutty Buddy, Star Crunch, whatever you like, because they have many different flavors and many different types, but try a Little Debbie snack cake. Now, another thing that Tennesseans are famous for, and you gotta try it, is whiskey. In fact, Jack Daniels, old number seven, is in Lynchburg, Tennessee, which, fun fact, Lynchburg, Tennessee is a dry county. If you don't know what that means, it means the county where the Jack Daniels distillery is. You can't uh, buy or sell liquor there. Who knew? But now, on top of that, because of laws changing here in Chattanooga a few years ago, we actually have Chattanooga whiskey. Yes. And the distillery is downtown in Chattanooga. You can go in and try it. You can get a whole flight. I think it's like $12, and they, they have very generous pour. You get six or seven uh, two ounce glasses or something like that and they bring it out on the little platter and you try all their different types of whiskey. They are delicious but southern people in general we love our whiskey and now we have our very own whiskey here in Chattanooga so go check that out. It sits uh, on Market Street directly across from the Chattanooga Choo Choo. It's very easy to find. On top of that this is something that all southerners know but other people don't. We drink sweet tea. Now this is just like unsweet tea except sweet tea we put sugar in it while the tea is still warm so when we pour it in the glass it's already sweet you don't have to sweeten it have you ever taken unsweetened tea and put sugar in it and then it just sits around the bottom of the glass like a big lump we stopped all that the sugar melts inside the hot tea and while it's cooling down and then you can drink it and it's wonderful any restaurant in the south that's worth its weight is gonna have sweet tea already fixed all you gotta do is ask for it and last but not least you have to try biscuits and gravy now, biscuits and gravy, you can order at Cracker Barrel or IHOP, but honestly, it's not the same as the Southern biscuits and gravy. We're talking about where they hand make the biscuits every morning and they're fresh and they're big and fluffy and flaky, and then handmade gravy. We're not talking gravy out of a pack that you mix water to. We're talking about they put the oil in there and the flour and the milk and pepper it up and then fry up some sausage and put the sausage in there. It's the best. When you're in Chattanooga, go to Puckett's Grocery on Market Street and order biscuits and gravy for breakfast. You will thank me for it. So, I would love to hear what else you would like to know about Chattanooga. Please put your comments down below or your questions. What would you like me to do a video on? I know I've gotten this before. I've got a few videos that I've got to do about surrounding neighborhoods and things, but I want to know what else you would like to know about while you're here. So, go ahead, stick a comment down below. Hey, make sure hit that subscribe button down there because that way, every time I do a video, you'll get the next one. I'm trying to do one a week right now. So, to build up the video collection. And hey, I will talk to you soon. Bye.